everyone and welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. We are still learning about the basics of chemistry and today we will be learning the difference between ionic bonds and covalent bonds. The most important thing to know when it comes to bonding is that only the valence electrons are going to participate in the bonding. None of the core electrons matter. So even if you're in the third row of the periodic table and working with chlorine, let's say, it doesn't matter that the atomic number is 17 and there's 17 electrons in chlorine, only the valence electrons count and chlorine has seven valence electrons. First up is a quick review of electronegativity. Electronegativity is the value in which an element can attract electrons to it. This depends on the atomic number and also on the distance the electrons are from the nucleus. If you need a review on electronegativity, I'll link the video here. The best way to figure out if a bond is going to be ionic or covalent is to find the individual electronegativity values of each element involved and then calculate the difference. The difference tells us what kind of bond we're going to have. The rule goes like this. If the difference in electronegativity is greater than 1.9, then it is an ionic bond. If it is less than 1.9, it's a covalent bond. As simple as that. My first example is going to be sodium chloride or table salt, NaCl. Sodium has an electronegativity of 0.9. Chlorine has an electronegativity of 3.0. I found these numbers by Googling an electronegativity table where it shows the periodic table, but instead of atomic mass, it tells us the electronegativity under the element. The difference between these two ions is 2.1. So we know that this bond is going to be ionic. Ionic means that the electrons are not going to be shared equally. In this case, sodium is going to give up its electron completely to chlorine. My next example is hydrochloric acid, HCl. Hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1. Chlorine has an electronegativity of 3.0. The difference between these is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 is less than 1.9. So it's a covalent bond. Something weird is happening here. When a covalent bond has a difference in electronegativity that is still less than 1.9, it's still covalent, but more than 0.5, it's a polar bond. All this means is that one of the atoms has such a higher electronegativity that although it's not taking the electron completely, it is pulling the electron a little bit more than sharing it equally. In this case, chlorine has the higher electronegativity, so it will be pulling the electrons closer to it. This is a vector, so we draw the arrow. And then we say that there is a partial negative charge on the chlorine and a partial positive charge on the hydrogen. This is a polar bond experiencing a dipole moment on the chlorine. Next, I'm going to do chlorine gas, Cl2. Two chlorines bonded together. Each has an electronegativity of 3.0. The difference between these numbers is zero. So we have a covalent bond, it's less than 1.9, and it's nonpolar because it's less than 0.5. Nonpolar means that the electrons are being shared equally and there is no dipole moment in the molecule. I hope that you guys learned a lot in this video and I know that if you understood this lesson, it will help you so much moving forward in chemistry. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.